Greatness is a decision, but it's okay to not be okay on your journey to greatness. When I was three years old, I decided that I wanted to be a star, that I wanted to be great. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I knew I was going to do it. I wanted to be great, and greatness is a decision. So often, people get lost in the notion that others are meant for greatness. Others were made for success, and others have the opportunities that they themselves were never given. I've come from a background that you would not imagine me dancing all over the world on So You Think You Can Dance. When I was accepted on the show, I was homeless. And that's not a foundation for greatness. When my mom and I traveled to the show, we didn't have enough money to actually be able to go. But I put all my stress in a box and I refused to deal with my reality because I made the decision to be great. On my journey, I realized that others aren't special. It doesn't matter if you have rock star DNA or if you have special gene codes. Those who, like myself, are able to live a great life of greatness are able to experience life in what many would consider surreal ways or doing so because they made a decision. Even though my circumstances could have easily overwhelmed me, and some days it did, I made the decision to be great even when I wasn't okay. To be great, you have to decide to be great. No one becomes great by accident. Greatness requires time, effort, patience and strength but it begins with the decision to become great once that decision is made the game changes the hustle is different the determination the focus the willingness to make sacrifice i missed christmas i didn't have a lot of presents because my present was dance my sacrifices are the price i pay for the decision i made to be great even if i was dancing with debbie allen or chris brown my journey dancing has been dreamlike the people I've met, the places I've gone, the dance opportunities, the joy, the pleasure, the stress, the days when I just wasn't okay. So I had to be okay. 
when I wasn't okay because the experiences on my journey to greatness and my determination has molded me into the person who I work like a champion and dream like a queen. I can taste my greatness in a bitter, sweet, savory flavor. <laughs> to be great, you have to simply make a decision to stop listening to the junk in your head. Choose to continue with your journey, even when it gets rocky and the storms crack your foundation. You have to weather every storm, every road bump, and every obstacle with persistence, consistency, and dedication. And anyone has the ability to make the choice. But the thing is, not everyone will. It doesn't matter if you have advanced education or advanced training. When greatness is your standard, you do everything to the best of your ability. There's no downside to the decision, even when it seems like it is. Staying with the host family, being away from my grandpa and my mom, seems like a downside. But I have the opportunity to attend one of the top performing art schools in Los Angeles, which will prepare me for better opportunities on my journey. I made the decision to be great, and I give my mom hugs and kisses when I see her on the weekends. The world is full of people who accept mediocrity as their standard. Not deciding to be great puts you on the masses of just being average. I was not born to be average. It puts you on the easy road, not the hard road. Choose the road to greatness, even when it's not okay with what it takes to get there. To be great, you have to decide to be happy. Happiness is a choice, not a pursuit. I say this because I personally know that to be true. On this journey, there are many days that I made the decision to be happy because at age 13, I had to be professional and had expectations were placed on me to be happy. The camera was rolling and there was no room to be sad. Jeff Thacker, producer of So You Think You Dance, used to always say that you chose to be here so you should always be happy. Most people chase the things that they think will make them happy, like a new phone or dance award or whatever. They don't realize that happiness is a decision. At any moment, you can choose to be happy, no matter what your circumstances are. When I was being judged because I wasn't a known dancer, or I didn't have the intense training like my other co-stars, or even the fact that I wasn't a popular person, I could have been sad about those things, but I made the decision to be great, so I made the decision to be happy. Many things in my personal and professional life could have torn me down, but I made the decision, and my decision was to be great, even when I was not okay. I realized early on that my decisions are what created or prevented the outcome called happiness. Positive decisions lead to positive outcomes. Negative decisions lead to negative outcomes. A positive mindset is foundational to positive decision making. I chose to communicate positively with myself during my tough days on So You Think You Can Dance. I had to ask myself, are you your greatest critic or are you your greatest cheerleader? I made the decision to be happy, which allowed me to be create, create a positive outset. For most times, I have unlocked my greatness. I talk to myself like a champion because I am a champion. Life has not dealt me the storybook cards to play this thing called life. But the cards I dealt don't matter. How I play the game is what counts. To be great, you have to decide to get coached. We all know that having a mentor or coach, we all have the opportunity to be better when we were yesterday. By making the decision, we get go coached. Being a coach or a mentor propels your greatness. They hold you accountable to the commitment and empower you to move forward. Receiving coaching shortens your lear learning curve by helping you avoid mistakes. You would otherwise waste your time, energy, and resources making. A coach will show you how to do things right, dramatically improving your results in a shorter period of time. With the guidance of having someone who has already traveled the path you are on, you can accomplish in five years what others have accomplished in 20. Decide to be great, even when you're not okay. Greatness is not an event. It is a process, a series of small steps repeated daily. Improving yourself leads to greatness. Focus on improving every area of your life, a little bit every day. If you keep that consistent for long enough, Eventually, you will enjoy the greatness that is byproduct of sacrifice, constant, and never-ending improvement. Join me on this journey to be great, even when you're not okay. Because it's okay to not be okay when you are great. Thank you.